a nerd. Anyway, no, this is Yusha from the Land of Yusha Land, and um, this is a redrawing improvement to draw this again video, I guess. And as you saw from the first few frames, seconds of this particular video, you saw the original that of the drawing that I am recreating in the throughout the rest of this video. I don't know, like, um, okay, yeah, I, this is exactly why I think I mentioned this every speed art video with commentary, how I should probably come up with a script for these commentary videos, but anyway, so a little bit of history behind the old version of the drawing that you saw in the first few seconds. Um, it was actually drawn in a Clip Studio Paint app program, and the new version that you're seeing right here throughout the rest of the video, the newer one is done in Procreate app for iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil and everything, the old generation one. I would love to get the 2018 iPad and new Apple Pencil eventually, but, you know. But, uh, but anyway, these tools are good enough for now. But, um, with, for Clip Studio Paint, as you saw in the very beginning, or no, the drawing that was done in Clip Studio Paint, um, the original, um, that was from 2018, so a whole year ago, a little, yeah, a whole year ago, 2018. Um, and a little fun fact that I've already mentioned in the, the spoiler alert, I've already mentioned this a bunch, on a bunch of social media already where I posted the redraw, um, um, the original of the was actually left unfinished, like, which is why the original has no, like, like, um, uh, uh, no, I should really come up with a script or bullet point. That's why the original doesn't have any more, like, elaborate shading or anything. It's pretty much all flat colored, so it was like, um, it was left unfinished because, I don't know, eventually I... You know, um, you might have even seen earlier on in this channel where I was creating my comic Debug Debunked in a much more manga format in which it's all like black and white, cell shaded, or you know, with green tone black and white pages, so. But then, um, I realized I wasn't proud of, um, but then I realized I wasn't proud of those, um, old pages, and I wasn't proud of it of it being in, or I wasn't satisfied with the idea of it being in a manga format, so then I ultimately just decided one day, you know what, I'm gonna start fresh, I'm gonna improve my drawing and painting skills, and I'm gonna try to draw the entire comic colored, you know, full color. So yeah, that, so yeah, so that, the original of this Overlook drawing was a part of a folder, because in Clip Studio Paint you could make entire you can ha you can like make a folder that contains all the files to your project i guess like there's an option like if you want to create like a bunch of comic pages then you can like then there's an option to like you know um to create a folder full of a bunch of individual files that contain each page i guess if i'm even explaining this any easy ish but anyway, yeah, so the folder that the original drawing of this Overlook drawing was a part of a folder with those manga pages, and then one day I was like, yeah, I'm not proud of it, or of the idea of it being in just manga format, black and white format. So it was like, then one day I actually deleted that folder and the original layered drawing of the Overlook got deleted too, so... I, yeah, I actually, thank gosh, I was, even back then, was the type to save work in progress screenshots like crazy, so, captured a snapshot of it, and here we are, anyway. So, um, I know there, are, you could obviously, like, dr like, take a screenshot and then put it back in your painting program and work on it again from there and everything, like, rasterize it ever etc you know I know you can do that but I, I was like nah like too much time had already passed and you know I was doing other stuff and 2018 was already a turmoil enough year for me personally so I didn't have so yeah I didn't have much motivation in 2018 to draw a bunch 
as I would have liked to at the time, in the moment at the time. So yeah, um, uh, every time I want to talk about something, it, it just, I lose my train of thought all the time. So yeah, anyway. So you, you, so yeah, you know, like time passes. I draw a bunch of other things, like in tw like November of twenty eighteen is when I finally started to like, finally go on a roll with my own art, and then I was finally starting to actually be happy with the, what I was drawing and how it looked, which was amazing. Um, it was November of twenty eighteen, so almost at the time I'm recording this audio, which is. A few hours away until Inktober starts. Wink wink. Anyway, that sounded like it would have worse undertones, but you know. Anyway, yeah, so September 30th, so. so like a month from now, like. Like an, almost an entire year until. Since the time I, I finally started going on a roll, like I was finally drawing stuff that I actually. And actually being satisfied with the results, I was finally like coming up with character designs of my own, etc, etc, etc. It was amazing. So, and I don't remember why I wanted to talk about it. Oh, and here I'm adding line art because, which I didn't end up keeping in. Because, because like, um, at some point I was figuring, I was wondering whether or not I should like do line art or, you know, to just make the, speed up the process, but... For this drawing, you know what, I was just gonna go with my usual method, abusing the multiply layer stuff for a while before adding in some pencil details. Like I said in the Paradise Speed Art, um, I'm trying to figure out a way to create artworks a lot faster, like, you know, for fully fledged comic pages, because the coloring style seen in this video and other previous speed arts so that don't involve Ar the beauteous Aaron Jeffcoat um because drawing in this particular style um is very very time consuming so I was like so as I mentioned probably in the paradise speed art video that I was like you know what I'm gonna try to find a way to like uh, speed up my workflow if I'm gonna actually draw fully fledged comic pages, you know, or graphic novel pages, you know. So it's like, you know, so, but then again, like you, you, you saw just now, I was trying to add in line art to test that out, but I was like, nah, I wanna go with my usual method of, you know, just without those line arts, I guess. Could it was what I was most comfortable with, and this isn't a graphic novel page anyway, so, you know. But I do want to still experiment with incorporating more line art and figuring out a different alternate coloring method for graphic novel pages, because, you know, just to speed things up so I can make comic pages faster. So yeah, it's just a drawing of three OCs. You may have noticed in the original that that on um, the girl, like right behind the gargoyle that would be closest to the camera, I guess. That girl was not in the original, but then I added her anyway because she, because these three characters, the human ones, not the gargoyles, are a trio and I wanted, you know, to keep her, to add her back in, I don't know. Since the original drawing was done, um, the story and logic behind this Dybbuk story has changed a lot, a lot in a way that I'm proud of, thankfully, so. So yeah, uh, originally it was gonna be a story of just the two guys that you saw in the original, you know, just the two of them, but it was like, no, nah, I wanna, and then I decided later on, no, I want to have my own trio that totally doesn't remind anybody of Harry Potter or anything. But, you know, you know, a girl with brown, curly, wavy up hair, a ginger, or redhead. Yeah, anyway. But then it, you know, then it became a trio, and then it was 
just being the protagonist, a protagonistic trio, and just focusing on their point of view, but then it was like, nah, I wanna, I want, like, every character to, like, be a protagonist in a way. That's probably gonna take forever to draw every, or come up with everyone's backstory, but it's like, you know, I wanna do that. I, I'm a fan of the idea of people, like, you know, individuality, if that's the word I'm looking for, in which, um, just seeing everybody as an individual and, you know, um, aware of the idea that, uh, that people are people and, or, wait, uh, that, you know, everyone has their own perspective. I'm a fan of seeing the story from all sides or everyone's story, I guess you could say, like, seeing all sides to a story and, you know, people being misunderstood and everything. So, yeah, it, so now at this point, it's like everybody the protagonist compared to just you know the two guys just a duo protagonistic story or just you know a trio protagonistic story so now pretty much everyone's the protagonist at least as of, as of the time i'm recording this audio which i actually like i actually like that idea could it relate to real life because you know everyone having their own perspective everybody having their own story to tell everyone you know everyone sees their own perspective, everyone has a story, and yeah, everyone has a point of view, so that's kind of what I'm aiming for as of right now. So yeah, it's changed quite a bit since the original drawing of this drawing was made. I don't know, like, I really am trying not to be redundant over and over again, but yeah, I think I should start to make, like, bullet points of what I actually want to talk about or wait for something significant to happen when I draw and post these, I guess. I don't know. You know, just make bullet points, maybe of what I might want to cover and stuff like that. Still abusing the multiply layer system, Yusha taking forever with that and my kitty is here yay she's here to make the audio better she's here to give us some music so you don't have to listen to my voice throughout the entirety of the video trying to make her purr anyway um I don't know if you can hear my brother in the background laughing, because he's funny. Um, da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I'm a, I also... I, I don't know, are there any of your drawings I'm working on right now? Sometimes my train of thought completely loses track, and I forget what to talk about. Um, like, I could want to be talking about thing A, but then thing A will suddenly leave my mind. And it's not like a thought B even came to mind. It's just it's thought A just left spontaneously, instantaneously, and spontaneously out of my head. And it's really frustrating, as you can tell. Which is why, um, for a bit, me and my mom wanted to, like check myself in to like or at least get checked by some psychiatric people to see like to like clarify on what this is to like clarify on like if like there's any other like way to like like as a way to clarify it oh my kitty's going away to like clarify like what this is and like get a better idea of like how my thought process works you know like why do I feel the need to like subconsciously go on into tangents why do why do, would I like why would thought a just leave my mind spontaneously without a thought b even needing to intervene you know like I wonder why that's going on and if there's any way to like any other way to like combat that because like if thought a for example leaves my mind and um and then like i'll go to google search something and so the 
thing I want to Google search just leaves on its own and I just forget immediately what I wanted to Google search and that was like and I it's like I go to Google it Google search it in like seconds later like you know I'm right in front of the computer the entire time so googling it right away is like nothing you know so and thought and the thought just completely runs away and it actually takes some hardcore reminder to actually remember what the heck I even wanted to look up in the first place. So yeah, you can tell why that would concern me. And my mom, so yeah, that's why I, I've i expressed to mom and my therapist to just, you know, see if there's anything deeper to that or just to see how we can deal with it better, you know? And I'm actually kind of stressing about it, I'm not gonna lie. I just hope I'm okay, like I would wish for any other human being. I just want to be okay. But yeah, uh, wow, this video is really long. Maybe that's why I've been talking this much. And for this amount of stuff to talk about. Oh yeah, and Inktober is in a few hours, actually, maybe, I can't make promises, I'm terrible at making promises, um, so, um, so yeah, Inktober starting in a few hours, maybe I'll post to my very first Inktober when it starts, or whatever, or when the clock tolls, I don't know, because I've already done some Inktober drawings ahead of time, so, so I would be able to post them on the respected day without like you know drawing them on the respective day I guess I know that's not the not the quote true spirit of Inktober or anything but but I'm doing that anyway because I think this year's prompts are going to be interesting to associate with some of the Dybbuk characters and I wanted to um and I just want to get I don't know I think the prompts are kind of interesting for Dybbuk verse characters the characters from my story I actually want to draw them doing and interacting in these ways, so. So who knows, maybe there will be a speed art video on this YouTube channel in a few hours of the first day, because I already got it done. Anyway, so sh anyway, thank you for watching. Social media links in the description, and thank you very much for watching, and, um... And um, thank you very much for watching this video and for supporting my art and what I do. And thank you very much and I'll see you next time in whatever video I make. And the last few frames are the finished artwork. And you can compare that to the original of what was seen in the first few frames. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time in whatever video I make. Bye!